Nej, nej, nej. Nu är tyckt lös med det. Just let me know when he fixes against the vehicle. I can't see his look. At, look out! He wants to. He's swaying with his. <laughs> Just let me know if he fiddles with his closer to the yeah. bottom, so I can't see. I don't want to stand there. Hell, my boy. You're too relaxed, eh? You can see, even though he's, he's very relaxed, he tends to raise his head a bit, making himself bigger than he is, and the ears slightly open. You see that? Yes. So mm -hmm. he's still, he knows what he's doing right here. He's not challenging us, but he's wanting mm -hmm. to see what's going on. Mm -hmm. What's his vehicle? Look at his back Hello. legs, how they're crossed. See how he's lifting the head again? You see his back legs? Yeah. Uh -uh, my boy, don't touch that vehicle, no? See, he wanted to, and then he just like, okay, no. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Does he always do that? Yeah. That guy? Not, not that way. But he likes to come close. Why do you think that he does that? Um, Curiosity? He's, he's getting now, not fully mature yet, but he's getting to a stage that he's, I would say he's about 16, close to 18 years. So up to 25, they go through teenager stage, like very you know, potentially high levels of testosterone and everything is starting to happen in his life to become a big bull. So, yeah, curiosity, maybe he's a bit um, aware of something big in his midst because he's relatively becoming big. And, uh, yeah, I just want to maybe show show himself closer to the vehicle. But he's coming to a stage that he will get ready to mate and go into must. And that's basically when they, they're quite difficult and could be aggressive. You can see he's still observing us. <laughs> Here's the other one that I saw. Oh, it's going yeah. See. Little one. Beautiful female that. Mm -hmm. Wrinkly forehead. See a secretion here on this temporal gland? Yeah. She's very excited or stressed, I'm not sure what. I would say just maybe communication amongst the herd. See how she scrapes off the prickly pear's fawns, eating the prickly pear, or the, the leaf. Look at that. Him and then she starts to communicate. That's lovely. I wonder what she's about. Why? Is what does that sound mean? Have you ever determined it? What that low rumble is? Uh, well, it's it's in a wave signal. So like exactly like whales communicate. Uh -huh. No real determination. You know, Elephantums came, came the closest you know, in the book Elephantums um, in saying that they communicate just like dolphins and whales. And there's a lot of research being done, but uh, they still don't know what exactly they say. You know? Doesn't mean they're happy, they're threatened. In many, many mad. forms. Many forms. Like she's so relaxed. She made a communication 
and she just responded and she's still relaxed yes. you see yes. so it could be any form of communication mm -hmm. um, Probably just all of them communicating and moving towards the plane. So that's basically basically what's happening there. Just wanting to come a bit closer, that's all. 